What's up my loves and fellow creatives? We're gonna get right into this five minute template flip. Today we're working on a gender reveal theme, but this can also be used as a sports versus theme. So let me show you how easy it is to change this out. We'll start with the main image here, which is our photo. And we'll just go to photo number one. We'll double click here. And then you are going to add in your graphic by going to file, place embedded. And we're going to go ahead and grab an image. We'll turn this from a basketball to a football design. Place that image there. Hit enter to lock in the transformation. Turn off our previous image. Close it out. Let's hit save to update. And we'll take the word free throws and we'll change this theme out from free throws or bows to touchdown, uh, touchdowns or tutus. So where I have free throws, I'm just going to duplicate that word, double click on the T, and I'm going to change that to touchdowns. And then I'll turn off the eyeball for free throws. And just making sure I spelled touchdowns right. <laughs> Same thing here for our bows. We're going to right click, go to or bows, and then I'm just going to double um, duplicate this layer. Turn off the previous one. Double click on the T, and this time I'll call this or to twos. Now for this color scheme, we're going with a little more intense blue and pink. So I can change out my colors here. I'm going to change out the blue and the pink to be a little bit more vibrant. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab the colors that I want to change it to. I'm going to use my color picker tool here to pick the blue. And I'm going to go with a little bit darker blue there. And then I'm also going to pick the pink. I want a lot, nice hot pink there. Perfect. So now I can go to my swatches here for color one, color two. I'm going to change the lighter blue here. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Turn off the previous color. Come over here to my swatches and I don't even have to double click here because I already have it loaded up. So I'm going to change it to my darker blue. When I close out, make sure I hit yes to save. And then I'm going to change out color number one. Duplicate that layer, turn off the eyeball here, and change that to my hot pink color. Say yes to save before I close it down. And now we have a totally different intensity of color. And you could change this to any colors that you want, and we'll show you that later on with our football theme. But I wanted to go ahead and show you an opportunity how you can change this template out, make it look exactly the way that you want it to look. Now in the background here, I do have a couple of images, but the basketball doesn't fit any longer. And we could use this image for the bows, but I want to show you, you don't always have to use a photo or a literal background. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull in some images uh, that are patterns. Okay. So I'll go ahead and leave these patterns in here if you all want to use them. But the way that I do patterns, I did develop these uh, in AI as well. So if you're in that class, uh, AI009, I did place some patterns in the server for us. And this is one right here. This is a bow. All right, and then this one is a football pattern. So I'm gonna use these watercolor images just to kind of show you that you can mix the watercolor with the 3D animation. Then I'll bring in a watercolor image and you'll get to see that difference there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this image, go to edit, and I'm gonna define pattern. And I'm just gonna define this one as watercolor, footballs. So I can go ahead and close that one down. And this one, 
same thing, edit, and we're going to define a pattern. And you want to make sure that your pattern is tileable. Um, I think this may, we'll see. It looks like it is tileable. It's, it might look a little weird. We're going to see in just a second. So this will be watercolor bows. Let me close that out. And now on top of the basketball layer, which was on this left hand side, I'm going to put my footballs. So I'm going to go down here to my adjustment layers, choose pattern. And then the pattern that I select will be the footballs. And I'm going to hit OK. And the color that I have on top of it, the blend mode is set to color. So whatever colors the image is, it's going to recolor it with this color that's on top here. And then I can change the scale or the direction of the print by increasing the scale here if I want it to be bigger. And then of course we can also change the angles here. That gives a little more interest too. And the same thing here for the uh, tutu side. What I'm going to do is bring in those bows, but I'm going to select the existing image here. Then I'm going to come down to my adjustment layers, create another pattern. This time I'll select the bows. Okay. And then I can do the same thing here. I can increase my scale if I want it a little bit bigger. And I can also angle it a little differently. And I get a totally different look here. Now I can also turn on the colors in the background if I want this to um, to have an overarching color effect here. So right now we have the blend mode on color. So whatever has color is going to have color on top of it, but we could also add another blend. Well, well duplicate this one and change the blend mode. So I'm going to still keep it color one. And then I'll choose a different blend mode depending on how I want to color the background. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do normal, bring down my opacity. And what I'm doing, instead of that white behind it, I'm just giving a little bit of a tint of that same exact color. I'll do the same thing to the blue here. And that percentage of opacity was about 36%. I'm going to do the same thing here. Bring it down to about 36%. And change the blend mode to normal and then here I may or may not want the effects to be so uh, apparent here where I have the the flare the textures and all of that stuff I can turn them completely off and now it looks like a totally different design or I can just keep the flare and maybe turn off the half tone and the starburst so I think I like that. Um, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and just hide these accent elements here. So we have the basketball go. We're just going to turn the eyeball off for that one. And then what I'll do is I'll make it so that whatever accent you put in there will recolor based on that blue color there. And I'm just going to create a clipping mask here. We just got to be right on top, right on top of it. There it is. I'm going to call this one accent one. And then the same thing here for the bows. If I want to change this bow right here, I'm probably going to keep the bow, but I need it to be a little more intense. So I'm going to play with the levels here. And I want it to give me a little bit brighter pink there. And I'm gonna change this blend mode from hue to color. There it is. So I get that bright pink there. And I think this one is good to go. So when I'm ready to pretty much save this as a final design, I come all the way up to the art area, right click, quick export as PNG, and then I export that one 
This one will be artwork, I believe, number three. Actually, this is number four. All right, so I'm making different variations and I'm flipping through it. So the idea that I want you all to do for class is I want you to flip one time in class. Then after class, I want you to flip it three more times. By the time you flip this template three times, you should be able to flip this template in five minutes every single time you touch it. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the main image of the design. I'm just giving it a moment there to save. So this time I'm going to change it out to a watercolor design. I'm going to double click here, turn off my eyeball, and let's bring in our watercolor football player here. Now my preference is to remove the background using a tool like Remove BG. And then let's just rename this one watercolor football. And we'll go ahead and we can hit remove background. It's just a very quick feature here. Let me see what it does here. And it did fairly well. All right, congratulations Photoshop. Um, the thing that I want to do here though, is I want to change the little girl's dress to pink from blue. So the reason why in the AI class where we pretty much drafted all of our images in blue is because it's very easy to change the color out. So I'm gonna teach you that step right now. The easiest thing to do here is to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer that's gonna be hue saturation. And I just want you to pay attention to what it does on the side with the little girl. But we're going to right click on this layer and create a clipping mask. From here, we're going to change on the right hand side, you'll see there's some settings. We can change the blues. And what I like to do is crank them all the way down and then crank them all the way up, see what those blues are. I still see a tint of blue and that's probably because there's cyan in there as well. So I'll crank that up, then pull it down and see, okay, where's my cyan versus where's my blue? So here, I'm gonna crank up the cyan so that when I change the color, I can see it going from purple to green. My objective is to get a good pink here. And then whatever pink you're searching for, so I don't know if it'll be more of a magenta pink, a like a rose gold kind of pink or what. I'm gonna go for um, kind of like a hot pink. Now, I may not be able to find it exactly just yet because we are only uh, manipulating the cyans and not the blues also. So I want you to keep that in mind. All right, I'm on, now I'm gonna go grab my blues, pull up my saturation for my blues and go ahead and change the colors there. And now I'm getting more of that hot pink color that I wanted here. That's a little too red, that's a little too purple. That's about the color that I want right there. Now I don't want the boys uniform form to be pink. I want his to stay blue. I want the girls to be pink because that's gonna be typically your customer's gonna do a blue and pink thing. Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and select our brush. And right now I have about a 200 pixel brush, but you can go um, a little bit bigger. You can go with the 300 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use black because black is gonna conceal this hue saturation layer. And then where the little boy is, where his clothes are, I'm gonna bring back the blue. Just like that. And that's an easy, easy tip to change out the color of someone's clothes, especially if they start the outfit with blue, you can easily change it to other colors without affecting the skin tone. So the skin tones here are great. I'm going to go ahead and close this out, hit yes to save. And now I'll get a chance to see my design. Same thing with a touchdown or tutus, but now we're looking at um, doing the watercolor graphics instead. So in this case, if I don't like the 3D bow now, I can right click, go to my bow here, turn the eyeball off. And then I wanted to show you, if you do want to add some elements to the background here, 
I'm going to go over to the basketball, or let's go to the football one. I'm going to go File, Place Embedded. And here for my accent, I have like a football field here. I'm going to go ahead and place. And you'll notice it's still colored in with the color number one there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to collage this in by adding a layer mask, getting that same old paintbrush here. Now this time I want a bigger brush. I want about an 800 pixel brush. And I'm just going to fade off the edges there. So now I kind of have a stadium in the background there. I probably will decrease the size of my footballs here, maybe 150. So I still have some little small footballs there. Same thing with the bows. I'm going to decrease my size of my bows to 150. And then this one, I'm going to bring in a little shop. So on top of the bows pattern, I'm going to go ahead and bring in this shop image here. You don't have to have these background images because honestly, the, the template works really well without background images. I'm just giving you some ideas of how I would use it as an accent, the backgrounds, rather than trying to create the background as the entire background of the shirt because I know we, we've been doing that a lot too. Just wanna give you some options there. So here I'm gonna add a layer mask and I'm just gonna fade off the edges of the graphic here. And that way I have a really cool, it looks like it's watercolor, looks cohesive. I still have my same theme, my touchdown or tutus, but it looks totally different because of the images that we chose here. Now you can choose to bring back your starburst effect if you want to, and you can even change the opacity or even the blend mode here if you wanted to bring that back. So for this one, I'm going to leave it off and then I will also show you what it looks like to add the half tones there. Same idea here. All right, and for this one, I'm gonna turn it off completely because I want this one to kind of have more of that watercolor effect to it. And for this one, I'm gonna get ready to save it as a PNG. So I'm gonna right click on the Art249 folder, quick export as PNG. And now I'm gonna have this variation of the graphic. I'll call that number five. Go ahead and save that one. So already I have five versions of this template. And I'm going to flip one final time to do this as a versus. So this won't be gender reveal at all. This will be more of the basketball theme. And of course, if you do not have Remove BG, the application, you can use it online. But I'm going to show you that option too. Because for me, this is much easier, especially if I'm doing bulk image background removers and for me most of the time this comes out cleaner than what photoshop does inherently so i have to play with um, the settings in photoshop sometimes to get a clean cutout and this usually does the the trick for me so it did the cutouts just that quick for those two basketball photos and what i'm going to do for this one is i'm going to just bring the photo, the photo is right here into photo one. I'm going to bring them both in. I just dragged and dropped them onto the artboard instead of doing file place embedded. So let's say these are your two teams here. Same idea here. We've got one and two. And you can imagine this might be popular for your uh, high school games that are coming up. I think this will be a really cool type of thing to do. And I'll just go ahead and turn off the eyeball for this one. 
And again, if I need to change the uniform colors, maybe I'll keep one of them blue. And then uh, the other one, let's say they are, let's change it to any color. Let's just see what we like. Let's go to a hue saturation, adjustment layer. And again, this time I think it's gonna be cyan if I'm not sure. I can grab that little finger tool, pick a color, and it'll tell me those are cyans. I can increase and decrease my saturation and see that it has a little bit of blue, but for the most part, it's all cyan. And then while I'm on the cyan, I'm going to change the color. I'm gonna pull down that saturation just a little bit, it's a little harsh. And let's see if I can get this to be a nice, cool purple. I can also increase my lightness if it's uh, like a lavender. Uh, decrease the lightness if it's supposed to be like a nice, dark plum color. Uh, and of course, you could play with the saturation to get more intensity of that color as well. And... I'm thinking I might do a bright green. I'm just making up a color right here. Of course, if you have a school that you can do this for, this will be amazing for you to go ahead and give them that imagery. Even if it's not their uniforms and their players, they will get the idea if you just show it to them in the colors that go with their, their schools. And then also if you target the, the local high schools, you don't have to worry about trying to uh, get in any kind of trouble with infringement with your NFL and your college basketball and that sort of thing. All right, so I'm going to go to the blues now because I changed the cyan. So I'm going to go to my blues and I can see that there's some color there I need to change. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And shift my color here a little bit too. That's making it more yellow. I want like a nice kind of emerald green here. All right, that's looking good right there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave that just like that and pretty much all I did was created uniforms um, that were blue for the basketball player so that I could change the colors there. So it would be better if I kind of had the players kind of facing one another, but in this case, you, you got what you got as far as what the client provides to you, but you'll still be able to make it look like a versus design. Now for this one, I'm going to focus on bringing back, I had this futuristic sort of basketball background in here for you all. So I'm gonna turn off the pattern, turn off the stadium. I will turn off the bows and the boutique. And I'll take this basketball layer. And I'm gonna make it full size here. All right. Now the thing about this is right now, the basketball layer is inside of this group and I'm going to bring it to the very, very background here where it's not inside of any group. And you'll see that what happened was the pink stayed on the left side, the blue stays on the right side, but now of course I can change those colors. So maybe I want the green on the left and the blue on the right to kind of give it that same look. And again, I can use my color picker tool to pick up the green. I'm going to leave the blue the same and I'm going to pick up a nice green here. And if you have a logo, I think the logos would be great to put in here. I'll probably put a couple logos in there as well. So I grab the green here, and then what I want to do is change this pink color to the green so I can go all the way to the top, or I could have clicked on any of these pinks along the way. Go ahead and double click on color number one, duplicate the layer. Now I can change that out to the swatch color I just selected. Turn off all my other colors. 
I'm putting that on normal blend mode here. And let's go ahead and save that. There we go. So now we've got like a blue versus green. And for me, I think putting the logos into this is going to set it off. And also, now I want to bring back the textures that I was using before because they look very good with this athletic theme. So I'm going to bring back the starburst. I'm going to bring back the halftone. And really, I don't have to put any logos in here. I can just play with the size of my characters and my text. But I'm going to go ahead and add the logos in. So in order to grab some logos, I went to our AI in action class number 004, where we created thousands of graphics of mascots and logos and embroidery patches, all dealing with schools. And I think that's appropriate to go ahead and bring a couple of those in. That's what I was saying. When we develop this stuff, it is useful all over the place. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and bring those in as accents. So I'm going to go to my accent folder. And here I'm going to go right on top of where the basketball goal was here. I'm going to go file and place embedded and I can go ahead and, and place. I'm going to place the bear logo there. And because it has the color number two on top of it, it's automatically recoloring that. And for me, I feel like that is going to that's going to suffice there because I really don't want to recolor the entire image, which you can if you want to do that. And then for the accent number two which is the bow i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and group that for you all and do the same thing that i did before which was pull this on the outside of the group so whatever you drop inside of that group is going to recolor we'll go ahead and create that clipping mask and now i'll select the blue bow and i can go in and get my second logo here so file place embedded and then we'll go ahead and select my i think that's a cougar there And for this one, for the blend mode, I'm going to put the blend mode back on color and I'm turning this off here. And you should already have these backgrounds cut out in class. I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quick one of the easiest ways to do this is go to object selection tool and then we'll use the cloud here, select subject. And if you have a decent, nice, clean graphic, it'll select the subject. But in this case, it also selected some of the blue inside of here. So I'm, I'm on my addition mode and I'm going to make sure that I'm telling it I want to keep that additional stuff there. And it's adding it to the selection. And then we can also use in this position, we can use the quick selection tool to add to it. So as long as it's on the plus sign, you can see that it's adding to the selection here. And these are going to be some essential tools that you need to learn um, in order to really master Photoshop and not even master it, just uh, make the most of it, even with the limited tools that we use. OK, so now that I have that all together, I'm just going to add a mask here and then I'll close that out hit yes to save it could have cleaned up a little bit better but I think that is going to be good for what we need it for and then I'll do the same exact thing down here to there and for this one it may even be easier to choose the quick selection tool choose the background now this one would have been really easy to use the magic wand tool. All right, so I got my background. I'm going to select the inverse. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a layer mask here. That looks good. Let's close it down. All right, so we see color number one that's on the hue blend mode. Or let's change color number one to the hue blend mode. And it is not recoloring. Let me figure out why. We've got our folder. This is inside of the folder. 
Let's close up some of our text here. And what we'll do is take this group, pull it on outside. There we go. I'm pulling it out on a layer on its own. It keeps jumping inside of that photos folder. And that's not where I want it to be. When I see the double lines, usually that means it's outside of that. All right, y'all. So I was thinking my Photoshop was glitching and not recoloring the image. And my silly Billy gumdrop behind did not realize that my color number one was down here where the bow is. And I either need to make it bigger, which I can increase the size of it and then it'll start recoloring the image or I could move it. So there we go. Now that is recoloring my image and I can choose how I want to recolor it here and also choose how I want the levels to react to that image recolor. So I'm gonna go with a little bit darker colors here, bring down the whites just a little bit. And then that way I get a nice recoloring of that graphic. My bear looks good there. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. And I'm bringing the size of it down just a little so we can have a pretty even size for the Versus logo. Now, in this case, you may want to increase the size of the photo here. So I'm going to just duplicate this layer so we can keep the original size of the smaller characters. And then I am going to go a little bit bigger here. Or actually, let's move the characters down. That way we can move the logo down. And I'm going to watermark my logos, meaning that all I'm going to do is just bring the opacity down here. And this one, let's bring it down to about 50. Same thing with my bear logo. Let's bring the opacity down to about 50. And then for this one, I'm going to do the text here. I definitely don't want the tutus text here. So this is line number five. I'm going to turn that off. And then there is a line number one that we're going to activate. And then this one, it says free throws, but of course, what I'm going to do is put double click here. I'm going to put everybody only because I know that we can put your team versus everybody on here and it would be very universal. And then we could take this where it says everybody, alt click, drag it. I'm going to double click here, turn this into a BS for versus. And then also for the top text here, I'm going to alt click and drag to the top here. And I'm going to put your team. And because I want this one to be on top, I'm going to take all of my line one text here. And I'm going to let it make sure that it sits on top of my photos and my accent images. So I'm just going to bring it right up here. And then I can deactivate this line four text. Just turn the eyeball off. And for your team, this one, I'm going to double click on the T here 
give it a little bit of an arch here. Maybe about 20, 24%. A little bit larger there. I don't want to go outside of the the guidelines that I have there for you because this means that it can go for a full print as far as a 13 by 19 kind of center print or also for an all over. So if I stay within these guidelines, I'm not going to dangerously cut off anything. And that goes for all the stuff that we're putting out here on the outside. You're not going to see any of this stuff uh, if you're not doing it all over. So just be aware of that. You can resize your background if you're gonna do a 13 by 19 and you wanna see some of those details there. So here for the logo, I'm just gonna kind of move it out here because the purpose of this logo is to be on the outside. And here we just have totally different purpose. It is not a gender reveal at all, but you can see how we can use this in order to do a nice versus thing. So that would be template flip number six for me. I'm going to right click right here, quick export as PNG, and then go ahead and do this as a six. And that's all folks. So please have fun with this. Make sure that you post your results in the N8 Academy Facebook group. Show us what you're doing. Um, we're your accountability partners and also your biggest encouragement. So when we see what you're doing, we're going to definitely hype you up to make sure that you have the confidence you need to put your work in front of your customers. All right, so we have wrapped that up. I appreciate you. I love you dearly. And until next time, Bye.